Hi, it's uh, me again, story writer. Um, on this lovely hot bank holiday Monday, I thought I'd uh, do another couple of videos. And I uh, thought I'd go back to kind of uh, reading from my book and that. So, we're going back to Bloodbound. And we're going to go through a scene where uh, Pandora meets Aura for the first time at the shop. Again, like I said, my memory's not great, so I'm going to be reading from the book again. So hopefully this doesn't distract too much. But here we go. It's the uh, first meeting of Pandora and Aura in her little shop. And then I saw her, who I could have only assumed was Aura Sang, a very petite woman with the exotic features of those that you would associate with an Asian background complete with slick dark hair but the most amazing piercing blue eyes the type that any Aryan would be proud of she seemed to have the persona that made her person of the world and yet there was an energy that she was giving off an energy of a powerful and brave woman who could and would take on the world and yet she had the gentler smile, complete with dimples. I was transfixed by her. I felt that my heart would burst into a thousand pieces if she spoke to me, which of course she would and did. Which one are you? Was a strong voice that came out of this delicate body, a voice that would take no shit from anyone. Sorry. My own voice, weak and timid as usual. Which one are you? She repeated, while counting out on her fingers. Auburn, Capulet, James, Travis, Wixen. The start I must have given her was all the indication that she needed. Yet the smile this time was not so gentle. This time it was a little sad. Of course you would be Wixen, one of the oldest and tenderest of them all, and to become one of the most tragic. Anyway, what can I do you for today? And with that, the sad smile was replaced with that gentle smile again. I explained what I was after, while being distracted by what seemed to be nothing more than a piece of driftwood. It was weird because it was calling out to me with every being in my body. And yet it was nothing more than a piece of wood. Or I noticed my fascination with the driftwood. She picked it up and placed it in my hands. And I felt like it hummed in my hands. I felt an energy coming off it. And to me it had the same vibrations as that song that you always want to dance to. She took it out of my hands and put it with my other purchases. I started to say that I did not want the wood. She silenced me by saying that the wood wanted me and that it was no surprise knowing that I was a Wixen. I did not know what to ask about because I felt I could only follow one line of inquiry which she would not go through with me. What I did want to know more was how much she knew about the Wiccan, or the wood itself. Why I felt that I do not have the time to do both, I had no idea. So, I found myself asking without really putting much thought into it. What's so special about the wood? She smiled that smile again. Typical Wixen, always considering others' pasts, presents and futures, well, my silly important lessons written within their own. But then this part of the Wixen psyche to help others before helping themselves. I'm sure you've heard of Rasputin, the mad monk, the occultist, saviour of princes, and thus becoming the Tsar's puppet master. My head snapped at that at this point, and Aura nodded gently, as though misunderstanding my reason. Of the reaction. Controller of destiny, destroyer of women, 
someone who started life as a peasant and became a pilgrim, a father that made his daughter believe that he was a saint and a man that was nearly impossible to kill, as history proved. It is not surprising that a man like that has an almost mystical quality about him. Some say he was possessed by the devil. Some say he was a night walker. The truth was far worse. He was a nobody with little and became everything. He was a man that had been destined to do so little within history and yet did so much. Who made the change? Do you not think that a man with that much power would not have his own immortal puppet master? I'll leave you on that little bombshell. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you enjoyed these blogs. And uh, hopefully you'll hear from me again soon.